Hey guys, it's Laughing Unicorn and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on shadow heads for MacBook because I've seen so many people struggle to do shadow head profile pictures because they use a MacBook and I don't think there is a tutorial for shadow heads on Roblox for MacBook, but if there is, all credits to them. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing you want to do is open Roblox Studio. If you do not have that installed, I'm going to link it down in the description. So once you're in Roblox Studio, if you want, you can log in into your Roblox account just like me. And um, you want to open a base plate. Okay, so once your base plate is loaded in, you want to go to Home. And then you want to click Play. So then your character is gonna pop up right here. So now you're gonna go in workspace and you're gonna click here. And you're gonna select your character. So mine says Christy XO. If it says player one, you just select player one. Now you open this. And don't forget, right before doing this, if you delete your torso, it's gonna kill your character. So you wanna wait until your character is straight. And when your character is straight, you wanna click test and pause so that you don't die okay now you want to delete health you go to humanoid delete animator delete sound delete animate and now you are going to delete left arm left leg right arm right leg and torso so now you are left with this head here i don't want to wear this unicorn beanie so i'm gonna delete it so here as you can see i'm not wearing a unicorn beanie anymore okay now you're gonna click player one or chris Dexo. you are gonna right click and you are gonna click export selection i'm gonna save it on my desktop and i'm gonna name it christy you can name it whatever you want okay so once you're on your desktop if you did everything properly you are going to see these three files okay dot obj dot mtl and your username one text.png so now that this is all done you are going to open this up and you're going to find your hair okay since you're on macbook you are going to click that weird looking uh thing called the markup toolbar you are going to select this little icon here and for example since my hair is like pink so i'm just going to pick this now, once you have picked your color, you're going to select this outline thingy and you're going to click this weird red line. Now, you are going to go in shapes and you're going to select a box. And you are basically going to cover your hair up like this. Okay, and now you just exit. Now, you want to open up Blender. So, when you open up Blender, you're going to see this weird cube just gonna click x on your keyboard and delete now click file import wavefront and select dot obj okay so when that happens a weird little head is gonna pop up in your blender so if you want you can move it to the middle that doesn't really matter Now, this is how I do it. You do not have to do the same thing as me, but this is how I do it. So, you're going to select this weird snowball. I'm not even sure if that's a snowball, but it looks like a snowball. So, you click that, and you're going to click material. So, now, you can see how it looks. You can see my hair is different. It looks more simple and shiny. So, now this is how I do it. If you don't want to have your face... What I generally do is I select this and just turn it around and then drag it back. Okay, and there we have it. Perfect. Amazing. Okay, now this is not too hard but you guys have to keep up 
Okay. Now you're going to click on this weird earth shaped symbol here. Okay. You're going to scroll down to environment lighting. You're going to click that. So you take it. You don't change anything here. Now you're going to scroll down over here to the lamp. You are going to click this. And you are going to click HEMI or H-E-M-I. I don't know how to say this, okay? There. Now it's supposed to look like this. Now, if you don't want your shadow head to be that bright, you can always do 0.5 and it makes it less brighter. If you don't want to have those weird little glistening things, you switch off specular, which is what I do so I get that little matte effect. Okay, so now we have mostly everything done. You are gonna click this weird little picture here. You're gonna go to shading, and you're gonna click transparent. So when you render it, the background is entirely transparent and you don't have that weird gray thing. Now, the last thing we have to do, you're gonna click on view at the bottom left of your screen. You're gonna click on camera, and you are going to position it it like this okay so now when you have positioned it like you want you left click on the screen you go to render at the top of your screen and you click render image and it should appear like this which is really pretty now if you want to change things you click escape on your keyboard and you just move around like I told you so I'm pretty happy with this, so I'm just going to keep this like this. So to save it, you are going to go to image at the bottom left. You are going to click save image. And you select where you want to save it, so I'm going to save it on my desktop. And save image. So when that's done, you can exit Blender. So now you're going to go on Google and you're going to search up pickmonkey.com, which is also linked in the description. Now you are going to click edit. You are going to choose your shadow head and open it up. Once you have done that, you can select any other picture. You're going to click crop and square and scale photo. Don't forget to click that because if you don't click it and you try to resize, it like doesn't work. So you're going to reselect square and scale photo. So when you resize it, it stays and apply. Now you're going to click on this weird butterfly here. Select Geometric, select a square, and just put it over the picture. It does not have to be your shadow head. You can select anything. And now, this is the hard part, because you need to pick a color that will match the background of your shadow head. So, now you're gonna Go back to the butterfly, click overlays. Well, don't click overlays, but like right under overlays, click add your own. My computer. You're gonna open it up and you're just gonna make it real wide like this. So once this is done, you are going to include another geometric square. So once it is in, do not click anywhere else. You right click once and you click, make sure that it's not positioned on the shadow head, you click once, send backwards. So it's gonna look a little bit like this, okay? Then you grab the overlay menu and you drag the fade bar up to 50. I think 50 sounds good. And you're just gonna open it up like this and tilt it so it looks more realistic. Okay, this is looking fine. If you still want it to be even more faded, you just drag it more and more. I'm gonna stop at 70. 70 looks good. In your overlay menu, you're gonna click eraser, and then you are going to start cleaning up the edges. Like that. And 
like that. Okay, this is looking good. So, now you have your shadow head. All you have to do is click export and just save it to your computer and you've got your shadow head. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you are wearing glasses and you do want them to be entirely black, you do the same thing that I did with the hair. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and bye!